Hello, pre-calculate student. This video is for chapter 6.2, graph of uh, second and cosecant functions. And um, in the last video, I was doing examples of uh, graphing a second function, I believe. This is the one. So I'm going to, uh, and I almost finished by listing the uh, maximum and minimum points. So there is some local minimum and local maximum. So these are the points where uh, it meet the cosine function, the reciprocal function. So it, it's negative pi over 4, negative pi over 2, pi over 4, uh, negative pi over 5, 5 over 2. The second example is graph y equal to negative 3 cosecant pi over 2. So we say uh, we have to graph the reciprocal function, just change the function to sine pi over 2x. So it is as if you're graphing this, and then you use this to graph the cosecant. So for this function, what's the amplitude? is 3. What's the period? It's 2 pi over b. b is, so a equal to negative 3, b equal to pi over 2. So pi over 2 here, that means 2 pi times 2 over pi. So that's actually equal to 4. So that means I have 4 on this side and 4 on the negative side. This is when cycle from 0 to 4 and from negative 4 to 0 for sine. Okay, so let's do the uh, midpoint is 2, 1, 3. That's easier to do. Negative 2, negative 1, negative 3. So to graph the sine function, we know... Um, oh, and there's a reflection, okay. So remember, that's reflection because a is a negative number. So instead of uh, instead of intercept and up, you should be intercept and down to three negative three and three. So we do do this. Um, and then go back down. So dotted it. And then this one would be um, continue on, right? Go up instead here, and then go down here. So here's the guide that you use to graph the cosecant function. So first of all, is look at all the vertical asymptote that it happens when sine is zero. So do this x equal to zero, x equal to two, x equal to four. So it's x equal to negative 2, negative 4, 0, x equal to 2, and 4 also. So have 5 vertical asymptotes, and what are the minimum and maximum points? So that's 2 max uh, relative mean, so we just do the U-shape, right? And here we just do the U-shape down. So that's 2, so this is the local minimum. Minimum is three comma three, and uh, there's another minimum negative one three. Where is the local maximum? The local maximum is local, right? Because um, among the points around here, this is another one. It's the common point three and negative three. Um, that would be uh, 1, comma, negative 3, and also negative 3, comma, negative 3. So here the minimum maximum point. Last example, graph 1 half second pi x plus 2 for two cycles. Um, okay, so what's the reciprocal function? So now, when we do the reciprocal function, we just to switch it over for sine and cosine. So the A does not switch. The vertical asymptote also does not switch. Okay, so these you keep. Your own, the only thing you keep, you, you switch is the function itself. So it would be as if you are graphing one half cosine pi x. Everything's the same. Plus two. So if you look at this function, what is the amplitude? The amplitude is one half. The period is two pi over pi. That is equal to 2, right? Because we're back to second and those. 
the period is 2 pi. So period is 2. So we just go to the, and there is there is a um, there is a vertical shift equal to two. So our new midline is two, and so and then we have one half and one half, yeah, two and a half and one and a half. It doesn't look in scale, but you know that's what we do. Now we need to look at period. Period is two, so we don't have to go two pi, but it's just two. 2 and negative 2. The middle would be 1, 1 half would be 1 half, and this would be 3 over 2, um, negative 1, negative 1 half, negative 3 over 2. So we have to graph cosine, and there's no reflection. So that means it would start from here, go to the middle point at 1 half, go to the minimum here, then go up, right? So this would be go down to here, go to the minimum, and the, oh, I should use dotted. This would be dotted. Now we're gonna do, oh, I should, my graph is running out of space. So um, where is the asymptote? So the asymptote is not on the x-axis. The, the asymptote is at, at the point where it cut the, cut the uh, midline. Okay, so this is the intercept to the midline, right? Because you have a, uh, if this is zero, this is undefined already. So plus two is always there. So it's always have that. Um, so what are the uh, VAs? For the two cycle that we graph, it would be from here will be negative three over two, x equal to negative three over two, x equal to one half, negative one half, x equal to one half, and also three over two, okay. And what are the points that we can do? So this is, there's one point at the end, because it's the highest point, so we would curve up. There is another one here, so we curve down. Another one here, curve down. And right here in the middle, at zero, you have one that curves up, and this one also curves up like that. So there's a lot of um, a minimum point. The minimum point are negative two. Oh, uh, what is the highest point that we have? Two and a half. Five over two, right? Um, and then the other one is zero, also five over two. The one is two, also five over two. The maximum, local maximum is um, where it is in the middle, so it is negative 1, um, 3 over 2, I think, because it's 1 and a half. 1 and a half is 3 over 2, and also 1, 3 over 2. So that's how we graph the, um, this is a second function. Last example, we graph a cosecant function again, but with phase shift. Okay, so it's a little harder. So what is the reciprocal? Reciprocal will be y3. Reciprocal of cosecant is sine. Everything stays the same, including the phase shift. We just graphed a reciprocal function of it. The amplitude is 3. The period is 2 pi because b is 1. b is 1, so it's still 2 pi. Uh, a is 3. And then we have a phase shift of pi over 2 because just it's just minus pi over 2. So go to the right by pi over 2. So the beginning of the function would be at pi over 2, at 2 pi. So left and right would be, so this is a little harder because uh, instead of like left, right like this, you have a phase shift. So this is quite unusual. Um, so what is pi over 2 plus 2 pi? And pi over 2 minus 2 pi. So that is the, the, the ending of the two cycle, right? So the first cycle is um, 5 pi over 2, right? 4 and 5 pi over 2. Let's say 5 pi over 2. And then the other cycle would be gone to the negative side would be negative 3 pi over 2. Negative 3 pi over 2. 
So on this side, we would, so they are not symmetrical. We cannot do plus and minus now. So what is the middle point here? Will be 5 pi over 2 plus pi over 2, 6 pi over 2, plus 3 pi over 2. And then what is the middle point of this? Um, 1 half and 3 and a half. Okay, so it would be 4 pi over 2. 4 pi over 2 is 2 pi divided by 2 is pi. And of course, that would be 2 pi because it's 8 pi over 2 is 4 pi. 4 pi divided by 2 is 2 pi. So that is this side. This is a little different, so because the middle point of pi over 2 and negative 3 pi over 2 is negative 2 pi over 2 is negative pi, so it's negative pi over 2. I think, right, negative pi over 2. The middle point between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2 is 0. And then the middle point of negative 3 pi over 2 and negative pi over 2 is uh, negative pi. Okay, so so remember this is kind of like the O X uh, Y axis. So you would have to graph a sine. Sine would be here. Oh, what is our amplitude? Our amplitude is three and negative three. So it will be intercept uh, max, intercept mean, and intercept right dot dot dot. And then for this side, so this um, would be um, uh, intercept minimum first, right? Okay. Intercept and then maximum here. It's not very in scale. So we grab it, and where would, do we have all this VA first, second, third? This is when it is. So, uh, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4. So at x is equal to 3 pi over 2, or oh, negative 3 pi over 2, x is equal to, this is negative pi over 2, x is equal to pi over 2, and x look very symmetrical though, x is equal to 3 pi over 2. Is that, is that okay? Oh, and also 5 pi over 2 x equal to 5 pi over 2, so it's not symmetrical, okay. And then what about the maximum point? So we would do U-shape like this, U-shape here, U-shape here with the common point here, and then U-shape here with the common point here. So um, the first point would be uh, negative pi, comma 3, pi, how come it's kind of like symmetrical? Well, pi comma three. Maybe I make some mistake. I don't know. Um, and then um, pi comma three. I think it's because of pi over two. Is look like as it look like a cosine function. Um, pi over three. So that is pi and so that's the two maximum and then for the minimum it would be uh, two pi negative three and also zero right zero negative three so we only have four but we have five a va okay so that is how you do the, so I think this is called the minimum because it's the lowest point and these two are the maximum. So that's how you graph the second and cosecant function.